Well, starting Friday, life in some parts of Oregon may feel a little bit more normal. 20 counties in southern and eastern Oregon could reopen restaurants and other businesses. The Oregonian reports those counties have few or no cases of coronavirus, and they've applied for state approval to reopen. Before they can do that, though, they will have to prove they meet certain metrics for testing and contact tracing. Then they can reopen restaurants and bars, salons, barber shops, massage centers and gyms with physical distancing measures in place. More populated areas will have to wait weeks or even months before reaching phase one. The Washington County Director of Health and Human Services estimates the county could start reopening in early to mid-June. It's, it's going in the right direction and we just need to say thank you to our residents and community members who have been staying home and saving lives and flattening that curve. Um, it's because of you that we're moving towards the ability to reopen. Every county in Oregon will get to lift some restrictions starting Friday. Standalone retailers, including furniture and jewelry stores, can serve customers. Child care centers, summer camps, and youth programs are also reopening. We don't know exactly what that's going to look like, but state officials say they're going to share details this week about reopening child care. Contact tracing will make it possible to reopen Oregon. Starting today, OHSU is sending out thousands of postcards asking people to volunteer for what's called the Key to Oregon study. Researchers hope to recruit 100,000 volunteers across the state. They'll take their temperature every day and report the results to OHSU. Anyone who shows coronavirus symptoms would be tested. If they're positive, they'd get connected to treatment. The goal is to detect cases early and prevent new outbreaks. Well, for the first time in almost two months, several Catholic churches in our area held mass in person yesterday. The Archdiocese of Portland told parishes if they felt ready, they could hold services. But as Morgan Romero shows us, there were restrictions in place. Of Southeast Woodstock in Portland, the church finally gathered again. It's great to see each other again after some time. It was really hard. The sacrament is very important to us, you know, uh, the Mass and receiving the Holy Communion is the center of our faith. Our Lady of Sorrows pastor felt ready to welcome parishioners this weekend. Archbishop Alexander Sample said in a video message, I come to bring you great news today. Catholics can take Holy Communion, but Mass will look very different. It's limited to just 25 people at one time. Under Governor Brown's orders, people have to sign up ahead of time to help with contact tracing. Churches put safety measures in place, like social distancing, and buildings will be disinfected. There's nothing we can do to completely eliminate all risk, but we're doing everything we can to open up our churches again, responsibly, carefully, and with great thought. Following OHA's guidance, he urged seniors and people with compromised immune systems or underlying health conditions to stay home. He also said not every pastor feels ready to reopen. Some need more time. I ask my brothers and sisters that you have great understanding and patience at this time as we begin to transition back to some level of normalcy in the life of our church. And let's continue to pray that we will gather together again soon. Father Mark at Holy Cross told his parish they can't safely reopen yet. Our situation here at Holy Cross means that with my chemotherapy and radiation starting very soon, and also a surgery date on the other end of that, we are not planning to reopen even in a limited way for Mass. Like so many other churches, they'll still stream services. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. But for those that feel safe to go to Mass, they embrace the step toward normal. Or our new normal in our new COVID-19 world. It was a great joy that we finally, uh, gradually, 
even though it's limited, reopening smells great. And we thank Jesus for that. Hallelujah. Morgan Romero, KGW News. Governor Brown's office sent us a statement about holding mass in person. It says in part, we recognize that physical distancing requirements present challenges for Oregon's faith-based organizations, which play an important role in so many people's lives, especially in times of crisis. But faith leaders can tend to the spiritual needs of their congregations without putting the health and safety of their entire communities at risk. Some protesters in Washington are pushing for the state to reopen faster. On Saturday, about 1,500 people held a rally outside Washington's capital in Olympia. That's about half the size of a similar rally there last month. Many of these folks say their businesses are struggling and they need the state to ease restrictions. This protest broke the rules on public gatherings, but Washington State Patrol says no one was arrested or cited. Governor Jay Inslee's stay-at-home order is in effect through the end of the month, but it could be extended again. That is a physically distant parade for Mother's Day. Families packed into their cars yesterday morning to drive through the parking lot of Elmcroft of Selwood. It's a senior living commun community here in Portland. They blew their horns, they shouted out their windows, and they held up signs for their mom. This is a very good thing as a result of a very bad thing. You know, you always have to look for them, but today they happened. It's beautiful, incredible. One of the best Mother's Days ever. Those folks weren't alone. We heard about several parades that happened around the area on Mother's Day. Love it. Well, we got tons of Mother's Day shout outs over the weekend and we wanted to share some of your messages. Missy posted this photo and says her mom is her best friend and always has been. Sandra says, this is my mother and she has always had my back. It's a privilege to be her daughter. Finally, Angela shared a photo and says she loves her mama. Keep sharing those shout outs on our KGW Facebook page. We absolutely love to see them.